in an old railroad town. There's no shortage of local color. A lot of tough people, a lot of older people. In the town of Helper. Oh boy. That color has never been more vivid. The artists are here and bringing it back to life. Just above Main Street. A painting has a mind of its own. Kate Kilpatrick Miller yeah. is putting Helper's unique hue to canvas. There's a lot of fun characters here and I love to paint, so why not paint their portraits and, and record their stories? For over a year, Kilpatrick Miller has been painting Helper's most recognizable faces. This is Jean, and yes, yeah, she's very involved in the uh, Catholic community. The brush strokes fill in the detail. Such a great big smile. But the depth. Quite a bit of personality there. Is added away from the artist's palette. I just went, you know what? This is what I need to do. There's gotta be more stories. I gotta interview uh, these people. Tell me how you came to Helper. Before the portrait, I digitally record. This my dad was a coal miner. Mm -hmm. Kilpatrick Miller records her subject. Juan and I am one of the members of the 1967 WBBA Helper Championship team. Each distinct voice helps to tell the story behind the face. And we started preschool right after Labor Day. The idea of infusing an interview into the portrait process is something that Kilpatrick Miller came up with over 20 years ago, interviewing a loved one very dear to her heart. Tell me how you met Mom again. I saw this gal with dark hair. Don Kilpatrick Jr. was just a shadow of himself. He's pretty breathy. When his wavering tones you know, it's just a dance where he... were forever etched onto his daughter's cassette tape. Your mother was a special one. He started to get really ill when I was 10. You want to tell me another story? It took them a year or two to diagnose him with MS, and he nearly died multiple times, and I think that's what got me the idea. Don's voice now lives on. Six pound rainbow trap. Whoa. In a way his body could not, stricken with a terminal disease. You do, you forget their voice, or I did, I have. But I think the idea of recording them came from this experience. <laughs> Through an experience of sound and sight. How are you, Tony? Good, how Thanks are you? Thanks for coming. Kilpatrick Miller's project. She got my dimples, so. <laughs> is bringing this small town. Well, good. To life. I think that is the cutest face, Mrs. Mrs. Thomas. And I already knew how to read because my dad had taught me. Together, they are the faces of helper. I told her to make me younger, but she didn't. Some are faces who never seem to leave. Mrs. Dalpaz, she's 106 years old, she'll be 107. Others. And his smile is definitely his smile. Could have stayed a little longer. Yeah. Chunk Ghirardelli, the town's pharmacist, passed away in March. Helpers, yeah. a great place. Thank you. It feels good to see him and know that so many people really cared about him in a place where it would have been just as easy to paint over the past. She uh, has cemented a lot of these people in the history of this town now. Yes. Kilpatrick Miller is instead bringing out the highlights. Wouldn't want to live anywhere else either. She hopes the local color that has defined helper will continue to shape the old town into the future. It's a labor of love for me and I hope it's a love for the community that they know that I'm respecting them and, and love them.